In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint an old world Santa. And I purchased uh, these two bisque items from wrapitup.com. I really like this website because it will show the items painted. It's very easy to use. They have a great selection and uh, the items will come in a timely manner. Um, I'm going to be using the Kimple colors to paint this and then you'll need a rag uh, in the wiping back process and I really like to use children's underwear. It's uh, the right size and the right thickness. Uh, the first thing I did is I primed this using Kimple's primer. I really like Kimple's primer a lot and then I base coated it two coats in a soft cream color. I'm going to use Kimple's Brown and I'm going to cover the entire item in it but I am going to work a section at a time. So just put it on full strength. Be sure to cover up all the white spots. Using your rag, start wiping it back. To help pull back, I love to use this product. It's Americana's Drying Time Extender. Just put a little bit on the your rag just get it wet and then just lightly rub it all over and as soon as it touches the item it'll help pull back that color this is the only product that I use um, Kimple does sell a product to help pull back, but I found it doesn't work. I've tried almost pretty much every product, but I really love this. It works right away as soon as it touches the paint. This is what it looks like pulled back. You'll want to let this sit overnight. After letting this sit for 24 hours so that it can dry, um, I'm going to do the coat next and a mixed uh, Kimple's Ruby and Kimple's Burgundy together uh, to create um, just a Christmas red, kind of a dark Christmas red. Using your rag, just dip it in, get some on your rag. Then you're just going to start going over the areas. For the smaller areas, use a Q-tip. Again, just get it on there. Next, using a cream acrylic, I'm going to go over um, the white parts of the Santa suit. And I guess you could call this wet brushing. I just have an a, a acrylic on my paintbrush. Um, and I'm using a size paintbrush that kind of fits the area. It can either be square. This one is a little bit rounded. And I'm just going to 
just swipe the paint like this. It'll just get the paint a little bit, the brush a little bit drier, not so wet. And the motion that you're going to want to use is like scraping peanut butter off of a jar so um, it's at a strong angle. And just start going over it. until you get it the white that you like. So it's kind of a personal preference here. Using that same cream color and the same technique, go over all the snow areas. Using the same cream, go over the beard, again, um, at the angle of scraping a peanut butter jar. Using Kimple Evergreen, uh, you on a Q-tip, uh, brush over, I'm going to brush over the scarf. Using Kimple's ebony, ebony, paint all the gloves. Put it on full strength, then it'll be the pulling back process where you'll get those really nice shadowing and antiquing look. And also the boots. So paint all that. Using a Q-tip, pull back. The Kimple colors, it's kind of, the process is always the same. You paint it on, there's either two methods. You paint it on full strength, and then it'll be the wiping back where you create the beautiful shadows and um, depth of color. Or, like I did for the, um, I guess you would call it a rouge technique, where you're kind of brushing it on really lightly. The Kimple colors are very easy to work with and so far they're my favorite color uh, to do ceramics with. And so the technique is uh, really simple and I really like the results. And the colors will stay wet for a long time so it's very easy to work with. I never feel rushed. If they were to dry, you can always go back and use that drying extender. And all you need to do is get it wet, just a little bit wet, and it'll um, you'll instantly be able to work the color just like before. So I'm going to do all the other gloves, but that's what it looks like pulled back. Using Kimple's Topaz, 
uh, brush it on the birdhouse and the little patch here this is a great color it when you pull it back it's just going to warm it up um, really softly and using a q-tip start pulling back and I'm going to work this until I get it the way I want it I'm going to put some gold leaf on the scarf on the snowman and to do that just put a little bit of satin varnish touch the areas you want to put it and then just stick it on I'm using gold leaf flakes. And using a dry brush, just brush off the excess. The last step is to spray your item with a polyurethane coating. Uh, just wait for the item to dry overnight. And um, I don't have a preference on which one. You can buy these at your local craft store and I found that they all pretty much work the same. So this is the finished item. Um, I hope you found the video helpful and I hope it inspires you to try out the Kimple colors. And so happy painting!